So Mayweather, hopefully we can get 1 million or even 2 million buys for Davis Santa Cruz. I think they call that cognitive dissonance, don't they? When you're sort of totally detached from reality and you live in your own little bubble. That, that, that's, I don't even listen. It doesn't even sound right. It sounds stupid. How do you say 1 million to 2 million anyway? There's a big difference between 1 million and 2 million anyway when you say things like that. Did he actually say it or are people exaggerating what he said? But put, I won't put it passing though, 1 million or even 2 million. You're not saying 1.5, 1 1.3, 1 1.4. You know, 400,000 alone is a lot, you know. But 1 or 2 million, just like that. Just throwing numbers out. When people do that, you know they're full of shit. Seems like Javante Davis is finally going to get his way. He's got a new poster put up. But the old one isn't going away. I've seen someone like Ivan Radka. Ivan Radka sort of uh, retweet the uh, manipulated <laughs> version where they fattened Javante Davis's face out. That's not going to matter to be honest. It actually helps add. It adds to uh, the, uh, the curiosity of the fight. So I suppose he should work against it. He should laugh a bit because when he overcomes that obstacle, when people mock at him, he should actually inspire him to prove people wrong that he will lose the fight. He will say he would not lose the fight, lose the weight, come back and beat the living crap out of Leo Santa Cruz. And you get the feeling that the people who are doing it also want him to lose. It's not because, okay, they're fair-minded and they're just going against his way. It's because they don't like the little motherfucker. It is what it is. It's associated with Floyd. He's black, too. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter because it's not about race. Yes, it's because he's black, too. You know what I mean? And he's a bit ignorant. You know what I like most about these videos by Teofimo Lopez? Is how triggered how triggered they tend to get Lomachenko fans I mean they're just fantastic they're not necessarily that great but they're quite effective because of how sensitive Lomachenko fans get about this guy it's amazing you know what I'm saying you can you can I mean and you know I also find that people go out their way even if they want to be uh, unbiased if they want to be fair and I've done it myself if I want to be fair to sort of like extend the, the sort of uh, courtesy, I stand an enormous amount of magnan magnanimity and courtesy to Lomachenko. You want to acknowledge the fact that, okay, you know what, there's this, there's that, they, you know, he's got great this, he's got great that, and blah, 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 blah. But no matter how much you try, no matter how much you do, you, you know, a Lomachenko fan will never be satisfied. Because, you know, what they seek. What they seek is absolute supremacy and domination of your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? They want you to actually bow down and say that this guy is the greatest thing this size bread. And I like, even if, even if Lopez is unsuccessful, the fact that he's willing to rebel against that fucking prevailing nonsensical brainwashing is good enough for me. Let's watch this new video from Devin the Dream Haney. Okay. Do you know what? I wish he really was putting this amount of effort into uh, going into a big fight, not against the old ass Kiemos. No, sorry, Yurikis Gamboa. That's the only problem, you know. You know what I mean? I mean, you're very committed, but come on, man. It is what it is. Let's watch about the Bridges. She gets ready for Rachel Ball.
she should be, I think she should be stepping forward to this stage now. She's been talking about having that Clarissa Shields fight constantly, that's all she talked about. Um, so if she wants to be fighting Clarissa, she's got to be up there fighting on the world stage at world level. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be a step too far for her to fight me for that world title. I don't think she's going to achieve it, and I think I'm going to be walking away with it. But, you know, if she wants to be up there and she wants to be fighting Clarissa, and that's where she says she wants to be, then she has to take that step and put her head in the oven, to be perfectly honest. I honestly thought I was going to hear a Scottish accent. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that, is that team ranking? Or oh, Anna Rankin. That's like, yeah, that is Anna Rankin. Oh, sh shocking there. 